is officially summertime, and for parents, that can bring a whole new level of stress. 70% of parents admit to feeling increased stress during the summer months. This morning, we are joined by a best-selling author, Kristen Butler. She's got some tips for us to help parents find peace amid that chaos of the summer. Kristen, good morning, and thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much for having me. We are so happy you're here this morning. So, of course, the kids get out of school and then parents are like, oh, dear, what do I do? I have to plan something every day. It can be so stressful. You tell me that parents can relieve stress in just six minutes a day. How does that work? Yeah, I'm a mom, too, and it feels like our schedules have been hijacked in the summer, right? But with my journal, there's three minutes in the morning and three minutes at night. And what it does is sets you up for success because oftentimes we're not taking care of ourselves in the summer. Our schedules are off and we just forget. So in the morning, we take time for gratitude, affirmations, setting our priority goals so that by the end of the day, we forget to do the things that we need for ourselves. And there's just some positive prompts and quotes in there to just get your day started in a positive way. And then in the evening, you can end your day feeling calm, feeling relaxed, reflecting on yourself because oftentimes we forget about ourselves as we're taking care of the children and that's why we feel so stressed. I love the idea of this. It's good for the kids and for the parents, right? So you have a newly released, new-ish released book and then a newly released journal, which is um, kind of the second one and you also had a first one to start with. So tell me about the new journal. What are the key elements to this? Yeah, so as I mentioned, we start the day with gratitude and a quote, and I feel like that's so important. We can wake up feeling tired or low energy, but as soon as we start to reflect on the good things that are happening, we get that good mood flowing, and even science agrees. So there's affirmations in there, there's a quote, and there's places for you to actually just journal about how you're feeling if you have the time. So three minutes is so quick and it allows you to check in with yourself and prioritize self-care. And this sounds like it would be good even for non-parents. I mean, this seems like it would be a good thing for everyone to just journal how they're feeling and then to realize, okay, there were some good things in my day and maybe in my week that they can reflect on and feel good about. So tell me, how can people order your book and your journal if they're interested? Yeah, the book and the journal, they're on Amazon, they're in Barnes & Noble, they're online, Walmart, Target, all kinds of places. So if you visit um, happinessjournal.com or thecomfortzonebook.com, you can find out. Larry, I love this idea of yeah. thinking of positive things that mm -hmm. happen to you in your day. So I'm going to ask you, what's one great thing that's happened to you this week? Oh, gosh. Uh, probably just spending family, you know, with uh, Aaron's okay. mom coming over yeah. yesterday and having Ava there to celebrate her first 4th of July. Granted, she's only seven months old. Uh, you know, we really struggled to have her. You know, right. we, we really had a journey in terms of getting pregnant. So having her around and just it just kind of puts things in perspective. Yeah. When, you know, when you're younger, you're out 4th of July. I mean, you're out Party having time. a good time <laughs> with a lot of friends, checking in on the fire, you know, having yeah. a great time with friends. And, and now it's just a little bit slower and uh, a lot more enjoyable just spending mm -hmm. it with, with a seven month old that you know she has no idea what it is yet but she's I just can't wait for her to find out. She's yeah. had her little stars and stripes up too. The Nicole got for Nicole her. Got, so yeah, that's uh, it's like the bomb pops. Yes. The red, white, and blue uh -huh. bomb pops. So, so cute. So thoughtful yeah. of Nicole and uh, I can't wait so to watch her cute. journey as well. Yeah. yeah that's, but, awesome. uh, that's the positive thing. Yeah. How are you though? I got to see the Sky Show last night. Yeah. Drew's Field which was awesome. Such a good probably the best fireworks show mm -hmm. I've ever seen. Right. And it was 20 minutes long as you told us it would be. It was as impressive as you advertised it. So good. I was so glad I went. I'm glad you got to see that yeah. too. That's fantastic. Well, summer fun can be expensive, but oh, yeah. uh, there are ways to keep costs down. Coming up, saving money on those summer celebrations. We'll be right back.